Hey, hello everybody. How y'all doing? Um, this is my second video on uh, YouTube, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this piece of Lil Wayne. Uh, let's get started. Alright, I'll erase everything. And I started with this uh, picture of him. I didn't cut it or anything. The size is uh, 500 by 678 pixels. All right. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, copy that. And I will just drag it and put it on that uh, new layer icon to get a new layer. Or simply just press, uh, whoops, Control and J. Now I'm gonna apply a topaz clean. You don't have to do that but it's kind of cool and I've already made my uh, my shortcut because it's one of one of these but I don't know which one these are the settings if you want I didn't add any texture or anything alright and press ok now we got it clean as you can see I don't want it to look like that, so I'm gonna lower the. Let me make a new a mask. And then I'm gonna take my big brush, leave it on. Well, I'm gonna make it 200. Oops. Y yeah, and uh, gonna erase around the face. I'm gonna lower the opacity too. Ah, uh, sorry. Choose the mask. Now erase. don't erase all of it but some parts I prefer just to erase that on the face and now uh, press the new layer icon press control shift alt and E or Mac command alt shift and E to make an uh, to make image apply image now I'm gonna take my smush tool and I'm gonna go to my smudge uh, brushes alright and well I need that yeah that one I already made the settings before I make this tutorial um, this is the regular settings shape dynamics I have it 25 0 0 pen pressure and control 0 Roundness, glitter, zero, all that, and uh, I have this much, and that transfer, brush pose, smoothing, oops, yeah, and press OK. Now I'm gonna brush on the on the walls and the, the stairs. I'll try not get it on him but later I'm gonna change the layer to overlay and everything will be changed so don't worry about it something like that you don't have to get it perfect alright now I wanna change it to overlay as you see it got really uh, dark in skin and some some parts of the face got uh, real bright so I'm gonna lower the opacity maybe some more and I'm gonna make a mask choose my brush and erases uh, erases the parts of his body I'm, I didn't cut the, the image or something but you can do it just like that Raise the parts that he got smudged, I guess. And now, as you can see, uh, there's a difference. Now we're down with the. I'm gonna make uh, the electric thingy, I guess. this one 
All right. I'm gonna drag to Photoshop. I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna zoom out, and then resize it. Turn it a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. Now I'm gonna zoom in again. We'll set this to screen. I'll raise the edges. Or I'm gonna do it with the mask. It's better. Oops. I make sure to uh do make the opacity hundred. And those edges too. Alright. Now uh, I'm gonna start with this one. I'll do that. Well, let me do that. I'm gonna copy this uh, a lot, so like one, two, three, four, five, six. Erase everything. Oops. I decided to go the down. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, or let's raise those parts. Move it a little bit, and let's turn the other one. I'm gonna hit uh, Control and T or Command and T and Mac, and make it um, think flip horizontal. Let me see what's gonna happen. I'm um, not. Nah. Uh, again, Control and T, and uh, press uh, rotate 180 degrees. I don't know why I didn't say that first. <laughs> All right, with the selected mask, I'm gonna erase the parts that I don't need. Maybe that's too much. Let me choose from this one. Erase the parts that you don't need. Oops. There we go. I'll choose the white to get a little bit in here. Yeah, that's cool. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the to the next one. Um, I think I'll just copy it. Uh, turn the um, the uh, foreground color to black, and erase that area. As you can see, nothing is happening because. Uh, I have three layers, so, alright, I'm gonna drag them to my layer icon to get it copied, I'm gonna do the same thing in here, but I'll do flip, uh, rotate 180 degrees, so it just won't look that copied much. And I'm gonna edit that piece. Alright, and I'm gonna use this. I don't want uh, to do a lot of stuff. I'm just gonna choose that piece. Yeah. Rotate it a little bit. Maybe more. There we go. And I don't like the space in the middle. But that's right. I'm gonna fix it in a couple of minutes. Now, let's do the same thing to the upper one. 
Um, oops. What do you do? I'm gonna copy these. Paste them. Well, I don't like them. Just these three. Copy them. I'm gonna do them each one separate. I'm gonna erase these parts. I'm gonna copy them again. I'm gonna use another layer because this is erased. Copy it again. All right. Choose the mask and let's erase those parts. All right. Now I have it, but it's kind of too much. So I'm gonna merge them. Um, I selected the last layer and the first layer of that and with the withholding shift and I clicked here so we got all selected now I'm gonna press control and E or command and E to get them like this we are gonna change the mode to screen so we can get back to this now make a mask um, get your brush with the black and uh, 83 and lower the opacity and let's go like that yeah that's cool yeah alright and now let's make a new layer um... let me make um... let me see... I'll make a... Uh, I have my splatter brush and I'll apply a gluing mask with this brush I'm gonna make it a little bit uh, smaller Oops. I'm gonna put it under. All right. Um, let me see. Um, let's put the opacity back to 100. And now click, drag it under. Um, we're gonna copy that uh, the background and place it on top of the splatter bush. Now, uh, click on that layer, press Control, Alt, and G to get the clipping mask, or just simply hold that, uh, press right click, then create clipping mask. Now, we'll move it a little bit, maybe not much. Copy it again, press Control, and, uh, and T or Command and T. And do rotate 180 degrees just so we can get the black thing. As you can see, this is kind of cool. Something like it's coming down from his pants. Um, now. I want to add a adjustment. I'm going to choose a gradient map with this black and white. Then I'm going to make it a soft light. And now I'm going to add curves. Uh, I don't want it to be too much, but kind of make the colors nice. As you can see. Balance it 
now we can uh, almost done but not exactly <laughs> I'm gonna put my text and uh, I'm gonna write step out and uh, make it like that yeah maybe, maybe like that oh before I make that I forgot something well after the adjustments uh, make a new layer and uh, take this box uh, they let me see the name the exact name rectangular mark tool and make it like this make uh, your foreground uh, uh, color white and click then click control and D or command and T and D sorry now make it soft light rotate it a little bit alright that's cool and now make a mask with your brush oh get the regular uh, basic brushes a soft light with 65 or maybe 100 erase oops erase I gave it that kind of cool effect. I tried to get it uh, on his nose exactly, but maybe it's not. Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe lower it a little bit if you want. That's cool. I'll put it under it. All right. And now um, I'm gonna put my text, which is. Uh, Step out, step out. And take this down to here. And um, I'm going to change the font to bad, boom, yeah, that. Gonna make it kind of bigger. Well, let's leave it because I'm going to have a. Uh, subtext and with that I, I want to make it I'm, g I'm going to give it a gradient overlay with this gradient <coughs> sorry the first one is like that and the second not sold white but can like this all right then I I'm gonna copy it press on the second one press on the move tool then new York keyboard hit uh, down then right now go to your uh, gradient overlay and choose a black um, gradient which is uh, the first one solid black and the second is uh, this one all right now this kind of cool but it's too much I'm gonna lower the opacity to kind of like this, maybe 30, maybe some more 40. Yeah, see, kind of give it shadow, but it's not really a shadow. I can make drop shadow, but it's kind of cool. Oops. And now I'm gonna add my subtext. Well, make a new layer. Um, hold Control or Command and mag and hit on that the first one oops this one the step out copy and uh, or press on the second one doesn't matter but you get that uh, selection on your text well tell you what sorry making uh, hit that uh, any layer that you made and make it like maybe hundred points so you get the text bigger now uh, hold, uh, hold your uh, control or command and, and uh, press on that or click on that now uh, go back to your new layer go to edit 
stroke and make it one pixels and hit uh, control D or uh, command D now go back to your uh, to your uh, text uh, layer and go back to uh, 72 uh, points now we have this cool um, stroke on the text I'm gonna make it uh, behind the, my text layers make it overlay and lower the opacity kinda cool now um, I'm gonna add my subtext which is uh, tune chi oops tune chi is in the is in the build building I think I I misspelled that but that's fine and I'm gonna make this uh, maybe 48 maybe 43 yeah that's better and I'm gonna give it this uh, color which is um, I have written down uh, E A D zero F five that kind of pinkish color and make it overlay uh, maybe make it kind of darker copy it lower the opacity something like that now make a new layer on top of everything and um, go to select all I like to use the shortcut uh, control and A or command and A now go to stroke stroke oh sorry edit stroke and make it like maybe 5 pixels black um, uh, stroke or border and maybe make an make a another stroke inside that with the white color white pi one pixels white color and set the mode to overlay which is kind of cool and there you have it, folks I hope you like my tutorial please subscribe thumbs up if you like it thumbs down if you didn't and if you didn't like it please uh, leave a feedback so I can improve it the next times thank you bye bye